Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about Enneagram Ones in Love. If you are an Enneagram One, I think you're going to understand yourself and your dating life more. And if you are dating or married to a One, this video is going to help you relate to your One so much better. I've compiled insights from leading experts like Stephanie Baron Hall, who wrote Enneagram in Love, as well as some other people like Ian Cron, Susan, Suzanne Sabile, Helen Palmer, Beth McCord, and Danny Cooper. And wait to the very end because I'm going to share three tips on how to love your type ones well. Hi, I'm Tyler Zock, pastor, Enneagram coach, author of the 40-day Gospel for Enneagram devotional series, and your personal guide to helping you transform your life, relationships, and workplace by giving you spot-on truths for your type. So keep watching if you want to feel seen, understood, and challenged to let go of the things that are keeping you stuck in your personal and professional life. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on more free content coming up next week. Now, let's get to it. Ones are sincere, thoughtful, and conscientious partners. They are loyal. They are committed. They are eager to work on improving their relationships. That's one thing you can count on is that they want to develop and grow and work on making the relationship as good as it possibly can be. Uh, ones can be judgmental of themselves and their partner. It's just that inner critic that's always there telling them when they made a mistake, where they messed up. Okay, they, that's something that they live with, and sometimes that can overflow onto their partner as well. Uh, ones need someone who can help them slow down and relax. They are always doing things. They have checklists. They have tasks uh, to accomplish. And so sometimes they're, they need a partner who can help them to slow down, take a break, and relax and have fun. Uh, ones struggle with being vulnerable with others. They tend to be more on the private side. And so they tend to keep their emotions sort of tightly buttoned up and need to relax and work on being a little bit more vulnerable and showing their emotional side. Uh, ones see where their partner falls short, but can also spot the good and the beautiful as well. Again, it's just so easy for ones to, to spot mistakes, to see where other people messed up, uh, to see where they need to grow, but on the bright side, they can also have a great eye for uh, things that are praiseworthy, things that are good and beautiful. Ones value honesty and integrity. Uh, that's one of the best things about one is that they are not going to bend the truth. They're not going to be deceptive. They're going to be honest with you. And because they value integrity, they're going to help you to not cut corners and to do things right. Ones struggle when others mistake their advice for criticism. This is hard for ones because they are trying to help you. They're trying to give you advice because they love you. But oftentimes it comes off to the other person as criticism. And so ones need to just know that, that that happens a lot. And to make sure that they're communicating, hey, I have some advice for you. Or let me share some, some tips with you because I care about you. Uh, that will go a long way. In conflict, ones take a problem-solving approach rather than getting emotional. Ones are emotional beings like the rest of us, but when it comes to conflict, they like things to be structured. And they do this to try to be helpful, to try to resolve it, but to other people, it can come off um, as sort of robotic uh, rather than, than coming from, a, from the heart. Ones attempt to play the role of the perfect partner, lover, or date. Remember, they have high standards for themselves and uh, they want to be the perfect match uh, for somebody else and will strive to be that perfect uh, spouse or that perfect boyfriend or girlfriend for you. Uh, ones, for ones, intimacy does not happen quick, but it is built over time and deepened uh, over time. So don't expect intimacy to happen really fast. Uh, ones want their partner to show up in very practical ways for them during the day. Ones are very practical and they're very disciplined and put in a lot of effort into the relationship and they they love it when you return that dependability and return that responsibility and take care of them uh, in very tangible ways. Ones like everything to be planned and structured. We just talked about how they liked even conflict to be structured. 
And so this is something that you have to get used to when it comes to ones is even in your dating life and when you go on dates or when you go on vacations, they like things to be very planned and very structured. That's just who they are. Uh, the, yes, they do need to become more spontaneous and loosen up a little bit, uh, but it's actually to your advantage to be uh, married or dating someone who cares about uh, things going well and th things being pre-planned, right? That's, uh, that's actually a, a great benefit. And by the way, as we go along here, if there's anything that is resonating with you, please go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you're agreeing with or maybe disagree with. Okay, moving on. Ones appreciate small gestures. So being on time, uh, remembering names, like their parents' names, uh, doing proper introductions, right? having manners, like those small gestures go so far with type ones. Ones need self-acceptance to engage intimately, right? When it comes to physical intimacy, they have to accept themselves. Remember, they, they're hard on themselves. They see the mistakes. They see the flaws, including their appearance. So they need to accept themselves before they actually engage physically uh, with you. Uh, ones get angry when their expectations for others go unmet, uh, ones have high standards for themselves and have high standards for other people, and they will get angry and frustrated when you miss those expectations. Okay, so it's really important, ones, for you to verbalize your expectations, to have no unsaid expectations in your relationship. Uh, ones, one of the best things about them is that they keep their promises, right? They do what they say they'll do, and this, this is amazing. I mean, how many times uh, are we waiting for the other person to do what they said they'll do or be home when they said they'd be home or finish that uh, task of doing the dishes or vacuuming the living room and it doesn't get done? Well, with ones, it does get done because they keep their promises. Ones want compliments, although they're hard for them to give out at times. Uh, it's just a struggle for one, so give them grace. Uh, they love getting compliments. They love getting affirmed, so keep doing that for the one. Uh, but sometimes it's hard to lavish encouragement or lavish praise on someone like uh, what comes more naturally to a two, for example. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because they think that if they compliment someone, it'll let them off the hook of the responsibility or something like that. We don't know. Uh, but continue to affirm that one. And once, uh, try to go above and beyond complimenting and praising other people and just know that that's something that you can work on when stressed ones become rigid and resentful right uptight and resentful that other people aren't working as hard as them to improve the world but when they're healthy they become self-accepting they allow themselves to make mistakes they realize that they're perfectly human like everyone else and that the ball is not going to get dropped, right? That, that the world is going to continue to move on. Things are going to continue to improve. And so that they can rest and be spontaneous and do fun things and move outside of their structure and routine uh, to enjoy life and enjoy their loved one. Ones need to learn how to focus less on fixing things and more on what is good. So yes, there's going to be a million things to fix in the relationship, a million things that your, your dating partner uh, or spouse need to fix, but those things are going to take time and they will get fixed in time. So in the present, don't let yourself get frustrated on the things that need improving, right? Try to focus first on what you, what can you encourage them in, uh, what good things you see, uh, how to call it greatness in them, right? When you start with affirmation first, right, it will open the other person up to your suggestions and open them up to the things that they need to work on. Ones say, I love you by being responsible and doing what's expected of them, right? Think about that. They say, I love you by being responsible, diligent, getting the tasks done, doing the dishes, right? Doing the things that they said they would do. That's their way of saying, I love you. So in case it doesn't come out verbally all the time, just know that that's the way that ones show love. All right, at the beginning, I said I'd share three tips on how we can love our type ones well. Okay, so here they are. One, balance out their inner critic. 
Okay, remember, they have an inner critic that's always berating them, that's always pointing out where they need to improve or what they did wrong. And so if you are dating or married to a one, man, show them kindness, show them gentleness, remind them, uh, reassure them that they are good exactly as they are, and just continue to compliment them and be very gracious to them. Two, get them to relax and lighten up. Okay, but here's the, the caveat. Don't tell them that. Don't say, hey, you need to relax. Hey, you need to lighten up. Don't say that, but help them by pointing them in the right direction to go to the beach, right? To go to the park, uh, to schedule a vacation, right? Take the initiative in helping them to get out of their structure and routine, uh, get them out into nature, get them out into a place where they don't have to, they're not responsible for anything and, and point them in that direction because they desperately need it. Number three, do what you say you'll do. Okay, they need a partner who they can always depend on. Dependability and responsibility are high on their list of characteristics they're looking for and somebody they, they wanna marry, okay? And so do what you say you'll do. Uh, that is a love language in and of itself, okay? Do you wanna learn more? I've read a book called The Gospel for Improvers. It's a 40-day devotional for type ones filled with scripture, powerful truths for your type, uh, three reflection questions every day, a daily prayer, and an action step. Go check out the book in the link description below. I'd love for you to, to get that book and continue your journey. Now, you can either learn about how other Enneagram types are in love right here, or you can check out this playlist with over 90 minutes of teaching on all nine Enneagram types. And I'll see you in the next video.